Hey guys, today we are going to look at factor by grouping. We're going to answer the question, how do I factor by grouping? Before we do that, let's look at a multiplying binomials problem. So remember when we do a binomial times a binomial, we've learned that we can do the box to multiply this, or we can also do foil, first, outer, inner, last. So we can also rewrite it like this. We're just showing that we have to distribute the x to the 3x and to the 4, and the 2 to the 3x and to the 4. That's all that this is showing. So let's finish multiplying this way. x times 3x would be x, 3x squared, And then x times 4 is 4x. And then 2 times 3x is 6x. And 2 times 4 is 8. And then all we would do on our last step is combine these two middle terms to get x, 3x squared, plus 10x, plus 8. So factor by grouping is the method of factoring that can be used when there are four terms. So basically we are gonna go from this step back up here. You're gonna be given four terms and you are going to figure out what two binomials multiply to give me those four terms. So the first thing that you are going to do is group the two terms into pairs and look for the common factors when grouping. So I'm going to group this section right here and group this section right here. So if you notice, that happened if we go backwards here. Here's our two groups. The GCF of this first group was x, and the GCF of this group right here was 2. So let's look at our groups a little bit more closely and identify the GCF of each group. So the GCF of this first group not going to have a number because this one doesn't have a coefficient, but they both have x, and then the lowest exponent is squared. So the GCF is going to be x squared. And then the GCF of this second group will be 3. No variable since that 27 doesn't have a variable. So I grouped them. I identified the GCF. Now I'm actually going to factor out the GCF so it can look like this step right here. So I'm going to factor out the x squared. And x cubed divided by x squared is x, and then 9x squared divided by x squared is 9. Okay, and then the next group, I'm going to factor out a GCF of 3, and then I'm left with 3x divided by 3 is x, and 27 divided by 3 is 9. So now, if you notice, we have a common binomial. x plus 9, x plus 9. The same thing happened up here. We had a common binomial of 3x plus 4 and 3x plus 4. And look at what happened. We originally had x plus 2 which is where that came from, and then 3x plus 4 written in one group. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go from here to here. We're just going to rewrite the polynomial in factored form by factoring out the common binomial. So I'm going to put x squared plus 3 in one group, and then x plus 9 in another group. And this is equivalent because I'm still doing x squared times x plus 9 and 3 times x plus 9 according to FOIL or box method, all those properties we've learned with binomial times a binomial. So you, once you get this common binomial, you can write it in one group and you can write the GCFs in another group. And then the last thing we're going to do is distribute to check our answer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to use FOIL. So first times the first would be x cubed. Outer times outer would be 9x squared. Inner times inner would be 3x. And then last times last would be 27, which was what we originally had, so we know we did this correctly. So to factor by grouping, we use this when there's four terms. You group your terms, take out the GCFs, and then factor out that common binomial. So let's do that on this one right here. Let's group our terms. And let's identify the GCF. So the GCF of this first group would be x squared. 
and the GCF of this second group would be 10. Okay, now let's take out the GCFs. So this first group has a GCF of x squared and x cubed divided by x squared is x and 5x squared divided by x squared is 5. Next group has a GCF of 10 and 10x divided by 10 is x and 50 divided by 10 is 5. So now I have that common binomial. So I can put the GCFs in one binomial, x squared plus 10, and the common binomial in another group. So there is factored form. Okay, number two, same thing, let's group. GCF of this first group would be y squared. GCF of this second group would be eight. And now let's take out the GCFs. So y cubed divided by y squared is y. And then 6y squared divided by y squared is 6. Okay, GCF of the second group is 8. 8y divided by 8 is just y. And then 48 divided by 8 is 6. So now I have my common binomials and I can factor them out. So my factored form will be y squared plus 8 times y plus 6. Okay, number 3. I have some subtraction signs, which is fine. The process is going to be the same. We just want to make sure that when we get to this step that we have those common binomials, that those are the exact same. So let's start by grouping like we usually do. GCF of 8x squared minus 24x would be 8x. And GCF of 2x minus 6 is 2. So let's GCF the first group. 8x squared divided by 8x is just x. And then 24x divided by 8x. Well, negative 24x divided by 8x would be negative 6. Okay, then GCF of the second group is 2. 2x divided by 2 is x, and negative 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, I made a calculation mistake. Negative 24x divided by 8x is not 6, that is 3. Okay, so now I have the common binomials, so I can factor those out. So my factored form will be 8x plus 2 times x minus 3. So just make sure that you have those common binomials. If you don't, you might have made a mistake like I did. Okay, now on number 4, again I have some negatives. But if you look at your groupings, this one is a positive minus, and then this one is a negative plus, which is not going to work whenever we match up our common binomials. So we're going to have to change something. So let's look at what we could do. So let's just take the GCF of this first group like normal. P squared minus 6P, the GCF would be P. And when I take out that GCF, I'm going to be left with P minus 6. So I need this group, when I pull out a GCF, I need that other binomial that's left over to be P minus 6. Right now, if I just pull out a 3, I'm going to end up with a negative P plus 6, which will not match my common binomials. So instead, I'm going to pull out a negative 3. So if you ever see a minus sign right there and there's not a minus sign out in front, you need to pull out a negative GCF so that your signs match up. So negative 3P divided by negative 3 would give us P, and then 18 divided by negative 3 would give us negative 6. So that's why we want negative 3 as the GCF. And now I have my common binomials. So I'm going to be left with P minus 3 times p minus 6. Okay, number 5, let's group. 
GCF of this first group, 3 and 21, would be 3, and then x to the fourth and x to the third would be x to the third. And then the GCF of the second group, I'm not sure. There's nothing I can pull out of x and 7. Let me write this first group and see what I get for my binomial after I pull out the GCF. So 3x to the third is the GCF. 3x to the fourth divided by 3x to the third would be x. And then negative 21x to the third divided by 3x to the third would be negative 7. So look, I get x minus 7, which is what this group already is. So I don't want to change this. So what is something we can divide by that won't change that? It is 1. So I'm going to pull out this fake GCF of positive 1 because I just want that x minus 7 to stay the same so that I have that common binomial. So if you ever don't see a GCF or you know you don't need to change it, then just pull out that fake GCF of 1. And now I can write my binomials. The first one with the GCFs would be 3x to the third plus 1. And then the second one would be x minus 7. Okay, let's look at number six. So this group is positive and the second group is negative and I have that negative sign right there so now I know I'm gonna have to pull out a negative GCF. So let's identify the GCFs now. Six X squared plus four X, that GCF would be two X. And then the GCF of negative 18 X minus 12 would be negative six. So this first group would be 2x times 6x squared divided by 2x is 3x, and then 4x divided by 2x is 2. Okay, then we're going to make this next GCF negative so that my common binomial will be positive like that one. And negative 6, the GCF, or negative 18 divided by the GCF of negative 6 would be 3x. And then negative 12 divided by negative 6 is positive 2. And now I have those common binomials. So I can factor it out. And my final answer would be 2x minus 6 times 3x plus 2. Okay, number 7. Let's group and identify the GCFs. So all the signs are positive, I won't have to worry about that. Let's look at this first group. The GCF is going to be eight, and then they both have M's, and the lowest exponent is just M. So eight M is the first GCF. And then the second group, the GCF would be seven, and then they both have P's, and the lowest exponent is just P. So first group, I'm gonna factor out an eight M, and then I'm left with 8m squared divided by 8m is m, and 8mp divided by 8m is p. Okay, then the second group has a GCF of 7p, so 7mp divided by 7p is m, and then 7p squared divided by 7p is p. So they have in have that common binomial of m plus p, so now I can factor that out. And my binomials are 8m plus 7p times m plus p. Okay, number eight, let's group. I notice that the second group is all negative, so I'll have to pull out a negative there to make sure my signs are matching. So this first group, the GCF would be A squared, since that's what they have in common. And then the second group, I'm going to pull out a negative 8. And then they both have Bs, and the lowest exponent is B. So this first group will be A squared, and then A squared B divided by A squared is B. And then a squared divided by a squared is 1. Make sure you put the plus 1. And then our GCF of the second group is negative 8b. And negative 8b squared divided by negative 8b just leaves us with a b. And then negative 8b divided by negative 8b is positive 1. 
So now we have our common binomials. I can factor it out and I'm left with a squared minus 8b times b plus 1. And last one, let's group. I noticed that this group has a plus minus and this group is a negative plus, so I'll need to pull out a negative GCF there. Let's look at this first group. The biggest number that can go into 12 and 15 is three, and then they both have an X and the lowest exponent is X. And then this second group, I know I'm pulling out a negative and the biggest number that can go into negative 16 and 20 is negative four. And then that is all because this one has an X and this one has a Y. So now let's find the GCF, or actually do the GCF. So 12X squared divided by 3X is 4X. Negative 15XY divided by 3X would be negative 5Y. Negative 16X divided by negative 4 would be positive 4X. And then negative, or 20 divided by negative 4, 20y divided by negative 4 would be negative 5y. And now I have my common binomials. So I can factor them out and I'm left with 3x minus 4 times 4x minus 5y. 